Welcome to Real Food and um, in this video I'm continuing my exotic fruit adventure and um, I am now going to talk about guavas and I've got three different types of guavas um, this one doesn't look pink but this one is actually called pink guava I think it might have started um, spoiling because I kept it too long I'm afraid this one is white guava. It is still looking a little whitish, and but I, and that's the reason why I want to to cover these because I don't want them to stay in my um, box for too long before it spoils. But also, I just discovered there's another guava. Well, this one is called uh, feijoa or feijoa or feijoa or feijoa or feijoa. Um, it's quite tricky. I don't know how it's pronounced. But I discovered this is also um, a a guava family type of plant and tree and basically all these guavas they all grow this one will be also called a, a fig guava so it's like a fig I guess um, and this one is still quite firm these are getting soft and this one is still firm so the interesting thing is um, they all grow on trees and these trees produce very beautiful um, blooms and then after those blooms um, we get these fruits um, and um, Again, they grow in in main in mainly in very warm Central American, Paraguay, Brazil, um, those kind of countries, um, where they are so popular that um, flavors from these fruits are made into drinks, smoothies, candies, um, syrups, all sorts of things. So they are very popular fruits, um, and they are you know they're very rich in in useful nutrients. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them, because that's how you eat them, basically. You cut them in half, or you, you open them, and that's what you see in inside. You see this flesh, beautiful flesh. And you know what, because these are very ripe now, uh, it might be easy for me to, to get this flesh out. Because, you know, I also had them when they were quite firm, and when they are very firm, it's going to be really difficult for you to get the flesh out. But when they're like this, it's much easier. You know what I don't like about guava is the fact that these seeds, there's lots of them, and it's quite difficult to eat them. Because I, I did have guavas before, but these seeds, you can't really easily chew them. So you probably need to get rid of them. And as a result, um, it's very difficult for you to, to eat well, theoretically, you can't cut them open with your teeth, but um, they're very tough. They're quite tough seeds. The flavor is very delicate and very beautiful. It's very unusual tropical flavor. You know, I want to cut this pink one out because, oh yes, that's why it's called pink. Mm, this is so good. Look at this. I must admit, I've never ever actually seen a pink one before. It probably tastes very similar, but let me tell you if it tastes any different. I'm trying to avoid those seeds, as you can see, <laughs> because the seeds make it... Mmm, interesting. You know what? The pink one does taste different. But I'll be honest with you, pink one looks more, more interesting, and looks pink and beautiful. But in terms of flavor, I think the flavor in the white one is... is it's just it's a stronger, sweeter flavor. This one is milder, and it's not as sweet. But this could also be because I kept them. Um, maybe they're not as ripe as they could be. So um, maybe some flavor was lost. And maybe because they were picked unripe. That also happens a lot. And the seeds, yeah. You know, the seeds I find really difficult to deal with. Because there's lots of them. And, um, yeah, as you can see, you can't really eat those seeds very easily. But I'm really, really keen on trying. So we've got all these guavas here. This one, the fig guava. I want to open this one now and see what's going on inside. Oh, look at this. This is a completely different... Um, I'm not even sure if I can eat this this bit inside. So this feijoa or feijoa, mm, it smells lovely, but can I actually eat this black stuff, or is this the seeds? You know, something is telling me that these are the seeds, and I'm glad that you can just scoop them out like this, 
You know what? I want to smell them. I'm just going to smell those seeds. I think those are seeds. I'm going to touch them with my finger. Fingers. You know what? They're actually not seeds. I'm going to be... I will try and taste it. And I'll try to taste a little bit of this black stuff. You know what? You can actually eat this this dark stuff. You know, this bit in the middle. I'm not sure if it tastes amazing or anything. But let me try to eat this this flesh. You know what? In terms of... um ability to eat this fruit. I think this fehoa is the easiest because my teeth don't have to deal with these numerous seeds which are they're very tough seeds, you know, I have to tell you. And they're very difficult, they're very annoying and make it very difficult to eat this fruit. Now with this one, you see you can just scoop this flesh out easily and you don't have to deal with all these seeds. The flavor of this green one isn't as wonderful as the white guava, but it's definitely better than the pink one. And you don't have to deal with seeds. So, of all these guavas, you know, I'm gonna try this more of this black stuff because this black stuff looks interesting. I hope I don't die. You know what? There are no seeds there. This black stuff is just nice, just as nice. It's almost different flavor to the main fruit. So I find it all very, very interesting. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. You know, I've not, I've, I've done some research, and they didn't warn me about this black stuff inside. So presumably you can eat it, and it tastes okay. It's not too bad, you know. But, okay, as you can see, I'm really keen on, on this green one. But, okay, okay, let, let me give you um some information about these interesting fruits. So, the guavas, the white ones and the pink ones. So, this is general information about nutrition. And this is per 100 gram of this fruit. So very low, um, only 68 um, kilocalories. They've got carbs, a low low sugar content, only 8 grams. Fiber, 5 grams. Very little fat, under 1 gram. Some protein, 3 grams. And now on vitamins or vitamins, oh my god, there's lots of them. We've got um, beta carotene, 4% um, or 31 micrograms. Theamine, um, um, B1 uh, vitamin, um, 6% or <clears throat> very small uh, dose actually, m m micro we're talking micrograms. Um, riboflavin, B2, 3%. Niacin, B3, 7%, that's a better number. Um, B5, 9%. B6, 8%. B9, 12%, mm, that's very good. But look at this one, vitamin C, 275, that's your recommended dose, percent. My goodness, so 228 milligrams in, in 100 gram of this fruit. That's really good. That's, that's really good vitamin C content. And I have to tell you, I, I do feel it. There is good sour content, vitamin C in this in 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 this this is white guava i'm keen to see what's going on with them um, with the green one so um vitamin c clearly on on the um, on the generous side vitamin k 2% and now minerals calcium 2% iron 2% magnesium 6% manganese 7% phosphorus 6% potassium 9% sodium very little zero almost two milligram zinc two percent that's very useful because zinc can be quite difficult to get and there's some lycopene so overall it's a useful fruit definitely worth um, considering there is a difficulty in eating the white and pink one though the, the nutrient content I've just read is for the white and pink version 
and now I'll read some some more information for the for the for the green one, which is very easy to eat. I have to tell you, and b practically no seeds, no problems at all. Very nice. So feijoa, again same sort of information. So they've got some carbs, sugars, um, fiber and fat, but on the vit vitamin side, B1 1 percent, B2 2 percent, niacin B3 2 percent, B5 5 percent. B6 5%, B9 6%, vitamin C 40%. Mm, that sounds great, not as big as the other one. But I'm just trying to check whether I am correct. Yeah, no, that it does show the really large amount on the on the other one. So the smaller amount of vitamin C in here. But then we've got vitamin E, which wasn't even present in these two. 1%, vitamin K 3%, and minerals, calcium 2%, iron 1%, magnesium 3 manganese 4 phosphorus 3 potassium 4 sodium 3 milligram, and zinc 1. So they're very, they're, they're comparable to each other. Slightly less of vitamin C in this one, but more other vitamins. So overall, they're really, really useful fruits. Um, beware of the seeds, very difficult to eat. But the green one, Feihoa, in my opinion, is a good compromise. It's not as flavorsome as the white one, but um, it's better than the pink one, and it's got um, uh, very little seed, well, no seed to deal with. And this black, I don't know what it is, it's like, it's like a different type of flesh, internal flesh, um, is also edible. So I hope you liked this review, and there's something useful for you in this um um, in this um, discovery of different types of um, guava and we'll chat again soon.